connecting to GNET. Accessing. Accessing. Connecting. Link in. An unfortunate meeting. Awesome quickly reached the hangar by use of Star Shatter's maintenance ducts and jumped inside his Starfighter's cockpit. One more advantage of him being born as a hamster. You could always reach places that others couldn't. Alice's hollow suddenly popped over his fighter's main screen. So when are you finally going to tell them that I exist? She looked mildly annoyed while well, counting a bunch of apples in one holographic barrel that suddenly appeared right beside her. Awesome had already found out that she was an AI, and was quite sure that she knew that he knew too. Well, I couldn't just spill the nuts like that. Where's the fun, huh? And I'm working on a joke, and it's the most devastating punchline ever. It's almost ready, I swear. His tiny gloves, fingers, worked over with lightning speed as soon Insanity gracefully floated out of the hangar and in outer space. A short streak of ionized plasma left his monstrous main engine, mere seconds after he and Alice had plotted the course through the first debris field. He swiped through a couple of hollow files and chose the next album uh, that his PDA would play. Morning Full of Happiness by Brilliant Space Senshi an all-female group of deadly starfighter pilots. They were excellent performers, too, and became an instant hit about a year ago or so. Sadly, for him, that is, they mostly instantly found husbands and were incredibly short, but fruitless careers were temporarily placed on hold. Awesome hoped that after their first children were born, they could sneak in some time away from being mothers and record another album. Also, post more mission holophiles so that he could watch over the GNET feeds. They had wiped out two full Tarzarian interceptor squads in their first joint op, singing while they were slaying the Tazis. Fighting evil by starlight, finding love by... The twelve beautiful voices formed a choir of pure perfection that his eyes teared up a little bit. Alice suddenly changed her attire and began dancing around the cockpit, perfectly emulating the singer's stage performance that she had records on hollow files of. Awesome lowered the sound just a tad, and linked his scanning visor with Insanity's main sensor array. He'd almost expected an ambush force to pounce on him. He didn't happen, but according to what he'd felt from Anitzia's tone, that was surely what his captain thought would occur. From what Alice was able to find out about their new captain, my sifting calves network, his tactical abilities were second to none, and that gorilla with the cute name wasn't a dumb dumb either. Awesome now hoped that the universe would be kind enough to arrange a meeting between him, his new crew kin, and the slavers who butchered Mushiishi's crew and passengers. He vividly dreamt about this many times over. The baddies owed him one brand new pistol, they did, and they were not in the least funny, nor had provided him with much-needed joke material during their vicious attack. When Awesome got back on Cav, he spent a week trying to visit all the militia troopers' families and relatives whose tags he collected while exploring the derelict starbase. They showered him with gifts that he had but reluctantly accepted. It was not in his intention in the first place that was simply him being nice nice found the brother of that deceased dude that picked up the new grappler cable from did try paying for it but the man was adamant and refused any compensation after giving the rest of those tags to the local colonial militia command they wanted to award him with metal patrons 
He was just a hamster, not some epic war hero of Terra. Despite his awesomeness, the great pilot skills, Awesome was acting befitting a dutiful client. They still made him take the plaque and that medal, though. Hamsters are not supposed to argue with rear admirals, especially such name as Hosley, and in command of this sector's Colonial Navy units. After that, it was pretty much a matter of luck to bump into those two lovebirds, Alaric and Vasilia. Remembering it made him chuckle again, but Alice, intrigued as she was, didn't stop dancing. This was one of three parts to a short introductory to the second book of Star Shatter series. If you've enjoyed this short piece, then please consider supporting the author, Aragmar, also known as the Black Knight, on Mines. It links in the description below where you can also find his books on Amazon. If you're also feeling a little bit froggy, go ahead and support my channel as I'm also supporting this author and others like him. I could really use the help. Thank you very much for visiting. I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at, and that it's awesome. Till next time, God bless and farewell. Link terminating.